In this video, I'm going to show you how to pair your Bluetooth-enabled hearing aids to your smartphone or your tablet. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Nearly every hearing aid sold today has the capability of being Bluetooth connected to a smartphone or a tablet to allow you to do things like remote control adjustments, streaming music or streaming phone calls directly into your hearing aids, or even having remote programming assistance from your hearing care professional when you're in the comfort of your own home. But getting this pairing to actually happen without the help of your hearing care professional can be difficult. So I'm going to show you how to pair your hearing aids with whatever smart device that you have. In general, you have three different types of Bluetooth enabled hearing aids. You have the made for any phone devices, like the Phonak Audeo Marvels or the Unitron Moxies. Then you have the made for iPhone devices, which are like the Oticon Open S or the Widex Moment devices. And then you have this new Bluetooth ASHA protocol enabled devices, which generally allow some of these other made for iPhone hearing aids to be able to directly connect and stream from an Android device. So think of the Resound Quattro line of devices or even the Starkey Livio Edge AI devices. Depending on the devices that you have, you may want to skip ahead to the section that makes the most sense for you. And make sure that you watch the whole section, because if you don't, you could miss some important information that could be the difference between this process working or not working. Now I am going to show you the pairing with a rechargeable and non-rechargeable version of these devices, but I do not have every single type of hearing aid out there inside of this video. So you need to identify if you have a made for iPhone hearing aid, if you have a made for any phone hearing aid or if you have a hearing aid that uses the Bluetooth ASHA protocol and go to the appropriate section. First I'm going to show you how to pair a made for any phone hearing aid to an Android phone and to an iPhone. All right, here we are. We're going to start with made for any phone devices. So this would be like for a Phonak hearing aid or for a Unitron hearing aid that can connect to either an Android phone or an Apple phone. So I do have a disposable battery version of this hearing aid and a rechargeable battery version of this hearing aid. And so there are some just very slight differences between the two, but the only main difference we're worried about here is actually how we turn off and turn on the hearing aid to initiate pairing mode to your phone. How you would do that with a disposable battery hearing aid is opening and closing the battery door, and how you would do that with a rechargeable hearing aid is putting the hearing aids inside the charger to turn them off and pulling them outside of the charger to turn them back on. So once we uh, have the apps downloaded to the smartphones, there's a couple different areas that we need to pay attention to. Um, in this particular instance, we're going to connect with the Android phone. So I'm actually going to go back to the home screen Screen and open up the settings window then we are going to go to connections and we are going to make sure that we have Bluetooth turned on we're gonna go into the Bluetooth screen and then only one of the hearing aids will connect with the with the phone so we want to make sure that we have the correct main hearing aid uh, pairing with it inside the Bluetooth screen so I'm actually, I believe it's the right one. So I'm going to close the right one. I'm gonna close the left one just in case we have the left one on these particular hearing aids set up uh, for the main connection for streaming from the phone. And we're gonna hit scan now that these have rebooted. And there we go. So the right hearing aid was the main hearing aid. Now, this is going to be dependent on how your hearing care professional sets this all up. They can actually switch it to the left hearing aid for to be the main hearing aid if they want to. But in order to connect for streaming, I'm just going to tap on the right main hearing aid here. And then here in a few seconds, we should see it pop up here to the paired devices. And we're going to allow it. Very good, so now it's connecting. So now this hearing, these hearing aids rather, are connected for call and other audio. So if you're gonna do a phone call, if you're gonna do any kind of music streaming to these hearing devices, we have them set up for that right now. The right hearing aid is the main one. It will also route the sound over to the left hearing aid so you can hear in stereo. So that's how we would set it up on an Android phone for call and audio streaming. But we also have to connect it up with the app. So whether or not you have 
the Unitron hearing aids or the Phonak hearing aids, this would all be very similar. You will go into the My Phonak app, which is the one that connects with the Phonak hearing aids. And so it's welcoming us here. We're gonna hit next. We're gonna hit skip on all this instructions. We're going to accept the privacy notice and agree to whatever they want us to agree to. Now, it's asking us to restart the hearing aids to put them back into pairing mode. And if you want instructions on these, they do have the non-rechargeable hearing aid instructions and the rechargeable hearing aid instructions. But since we're connecting with the disposable battery ones, we are going to go with the non-rechargeable hearing aids. Either way, we just hit continue. And when we do that, we are going to open and close both of the battery doors. There we go, and we're gonna give it a few seconds to let it connect. All right, so there we have the low energy left second hearing aid and the low energy right main hearing aid. We have to connect both of the hearing aids with the app so it will work. So let's hit select there. And it takes a few seconds here, but we will see a check mark pop up in each one of these categories here. There we go, there's our first check mark. And there is our second check mark. So it's saying pairing is now complete. So we will hit OK. We will close that. We will exit that. And so now we are going to go through the connection process here. Takes a few seconds here to happen. So there we are. We are now connected with the app and we're connected with the phone for streaming. So we can make any kind of remote adjustments that we want to here. We can go in, do a lot more different customizations of these devices through the app. And we're also connected with the phone specifically for streaming. Now, the other thing that I want to point out here is if we go back to the settings here, we will now see underneath connections and Bluetooth that there are three hearing aids connected to this phone now. We have the right one that's connected for call audio and media audio. And then we have the LE version, so the low energy versions connected for app usage. So it is normal to see three different hearing aid connections or pairings inside of the Bluetooth screen if you've done this correctly. And that is exactly the same for a Unitron hearing aid as well. Now, you will also see this exact same uh, listing here and the exact same process that you will follow with the rechargeable hearing aids if you happen to have the rechargeable versions of either the Phonak or the Unitron hearing aids. Nothing changes except where you stick the hearing aids in the charger to turn them off and you pull them out to turn them back on. So that's a very simple process of how you would get these devices connected to an Android phone. So let me close that out. I'm actually going to turn Bluetooth off on this phone here. There we go. And I'm actually just going to open those battery doors just to turn them off. And I'm going to go through the same process on an iPhone, but I'm also, I'm going to use the rechargeable hearing aid so you can see how I do this here. So nothing really changes here. We are going to want to go into, oops, we're gonna to want to go into the settings of this phone. We're gonna to wanna to go into Bluetooth, there we go. And I'm actually going to get rid, it looks like we've done this before. I'm gonna forget that device so it doesn't interfere here. And I'm going to take these hearing aids outside of the charger. So now they're rebooting, which will put them in pairing mode for a few minutes. And once they get rebooted, we're gonna to start to see a right main hearing aid pop up here. So there we go, we have right main hearing aid. I'm going to tap on that and it is going to pair with the phone again for call and other media audio. So there we go, we have the first pairing in there just says right main hearing aid. Now we're done with that for this screen. So we're gonna get out of that and we're gonna go back again to that My Phone Act app just like we did on the Android phone. And we're just going to hit next and next and next and we should have hit skip. There we go, done. All right, so now it's bringing up to the screens where we have to accept the privacy notice and agree here. And all right, so we have, we're at the same screen that you saw when we were on the Android phone. Now I'm going to go ahead and put these back into the charger to turn them off again so we can restart a new pairing. And there we go, I'm gonna pull them back out. They will start to reboot. And I'm gonna hit continue. So now it's searching for these hearing aids. 
And after a few seconds, we should be able to see them pop up here on the screen. There we go, we have the LE second hearing aid, and we should see LE right main hearing aid, or right main hearing aid here. There we go, we're gonna hit select. And it's gonna ask us to pair each one of these. I'm gonna pair the first one. And I'm gonna pair the second one. There we go. All right, so now we are paired there. And I'm just gonna exit that. Same process again with the iPhone as what you would have with an Android phone. Very good, so now we are connected with all the same features that you would have on an Android phone with the app. And if we were again to go back to the settings, we would now see that we again have three different hearing aids connected here. We have the low energy version of the left hearing aid, the low energy pairing for the right, and we have the right main pairing for uh, streaming audio. So there you go, that is the process for pairing a made for any phone hearing aid to either an Android phone or an Apple phone in the disposable battery version and the rechargeable battery version. Next, I'm gonna show you how to pair a made for iPhone hearing aid. All right, now I'm gonna show you the made for iPhone hearing aid connection process. And I do have a Android phone here as well because there's an important distinction for these made for iPhone hearing aids is that if you want to do streaming, then you have to have an iPhone to do streaming with these hearing aids. However, if you just want to connect to an app to make some remote control adjustments like volume or program changes, you can use an Android phone for that as well, and there is a way that you can pair these devices to an Android phone. But for the purpose of this right now to start off, I'm gonna show you how to connect these made for iPhone hearing aids directly to an iPhone. And there are different versions of these devices. I actually have a rechargeable Oticon version here and a disposable battery Starkey hearing aid here that I'm going to connect with the iPhone. And for this connection, I'm actually going to start with this Starkey disposable hearing aid battery. And this process all starts with going into the settings of the phone. And one thing I would recommend is that you just go to general and about and see if you have the most recent software version. If you're not sure about it, you can just go to software update and see if you are up to date. If it says that your software is up to date, you're good. If it says that there's a newer version to install, you will wanna go ahead and install that version. So we do have the correct software version here. So we're gonna go back to general. We're going to go back to settings. And then I'm actually going to go down to, we don't wanna to go to Bluetooth here. That's important. Do not go to Bluetooth. You actually wanna go down to accessibility. So we go to accessibility, then we scroll down again to hearing devices. And right now it's searching for a made for iPhone hearing aid. So I'm just gonna close the battery doors on these Starkey Halos. This would be the same process if you have a newer version of Starkey devices, like if you have the Livio AIs or the Livio Edge AIs. And there we go, so there, both of the hearings are popping up. You have right and left there. You can even hear a little bit of whistling from these. So we wanna go and start pairing these. So pair the first one, pair the second one. There we go. We now have these hearing aids paired to the phone. And that is the only area that you need to pair. Now it's capable of streaming any kind of audio from this phone, and it's also capable of going into the app to do any kind of remote control adjustments through the TrueLink app for this particular hearing aid. So we'll agree to that, allow while using app. All right, there we go. Now we are actually in the app. You can slide to adjust volume control. You can change into different memories, whatever you wanna do. All right, so there we go. Very simple process if you truly have a made for iPhone hearing aid. Now, if you happen to have a rechargeable version of a made for iPhone hearing aid, the process is very similar, except for when you take the hearing aids out of the charger, that's what puts them into pairing mode. So instead of closing the battery door like you would do with the disposable battery hearing aids, you just pull them out of the charger. And then you go to settings, you go down to accessibility, you go down to hearing devices again, and then you can see the Oticon Open S1s, left and right, you just tap on that. You hit pair there, pair there again for both of the hearing aids, and there we go. We are connected with the rechargeable version of the hearing aids directly to an iPhone. Very simple process for made for iPhone hearing aids. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and connect with an Android phone so you can use the app. So that process is a little bit different with an Android phone. The first thing that we wanna do is we wanna go to settings, we're gonna go to connections, and we are going to go to Bluetooth. Now, I'm gonna take 
these Starkey hearing aids. I'm just gonna close the battery doors to put them back into pairing mode. And then after a few seconds here, we should see Clifford's hearing aids popping up. So there we go, we've got both of those there. I'm gonna tap on the first one to pair, tap on the second one to pair. All right, now we have both of those hearing aids connected with the phone, but not for streaming purposes. So if we got a phone call or if we wanted to listen to some music, we would not be able to do that right now. All right, then I'm actually gonna go all the way over to the TrueLink app. Now again, this will work if you have the Starkey Livio AIs or the Starkey Livio Edge. You can still connect to an Android device, but there's actually some additional considerations there that I will get to in the next section. All right, there we go. Good, just get through all that. So we are connected with these. So I can actually reduce down the volume, I can mute, I can change programs, I can do whatever I want to with this. But at the end of the day, there is no streaming capability from an Android phone to these made for iPhone hearing aids. And finally, I'm gonna show you how to pair a hearing aid to an Android phone using the Asha Bluetooth protocol. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to connect with an Android phone using the new Asha protocol. So most of these hearing aids that will use the Asha protocol will connect directly to an iPhone. So both of these hearing aids are made by Resound and they are both made for iPhone hearing aids. So you would connect to the iPhone the way that you would connect any made for iPhone hearing aid to an iPhone to allow for direct streaming and remote control adjustments. But for the purpose of this video, I'm actually going to take the iPhone out of the equation and we are only going to work with an Android phone. Now the Asha Bluetooth protocol will allow you to do direct audio streaming from an Android phone into a hearing aid. So I want you to think of a Resound hearing aids. I want you to think of the newer Starkey hearing aids for this as well with the Livio devices. As long as you have an Android phone that has Android 10 operating system or newer and Bluetooth version 5, you should be able to do direct audio streaming from that Android phone into these hearing aids that use the Asha Bluetooth protocol. Now, of course, I also have a rechargeable version of these hearing aids here on the desk, as well as a non-rechargeable version of these hearing aids on the desk. And again, the only difference here is the way that we put them into Bluetooth pairing mode. For the disposable battery hearing aids, we just close the battery doors. For the rechargeable hearing aids, we just take them out of the charger, and that puts them into Bluetooth pairing mode for a few minutes for us to complete this pairing process. Okay, so specifically for the Resound hearing aids, we're going to go into the Resound Smart 3D app. So we just open up the app, and if you've never paired these hearing aids before, it's just gonna basically be searching for the hearing aids. For us to do that, I'm gonna use the disposable battery devices here. I'm gonna close the battery door on both of them, set them next to the phone. I'm gonna have them search again there because I didn't do it quick enough. There we go, now it wants us to restart the hearing aids. And again, how we do that is we either just open and close the battery doors, or we take the hearing aids, put them back in the charger to turn them off, and pull them out of the charger to turn them back on. So now that we've restarted the hearing aids, it's waiting for the hearing aids to boot up. And you will see it pulling all the data from the hearing aids into the phone. Perfect, now we're connected, we continue. There we go, now we are connected with the phone through the app and we also have the ability to do any kind of streaming that we want to because the new Asha Bluetooth protocol allows us to do streaming now from an Android phone as well as an iPhone with these hearing devices. All right, now I'm gonna actually show you how to do this with the rechargeable hearing aid just in case what I was explaining didn't make sense. So there we go, we have these hearing aids turned off completely. I'm gonna again go into the Smart 3D app. There we go, it's searching for the hearing aids. I'm just very simply going to pull the hearing aids out of the charger, which will turn them on, and then we have to wait for the, the phone to find the hearing aids. If you have trouble with this process of having the hearing aids be found by the phone, what I recommend that you do is instead of putting them in the charger and pulling them back out, we just press and hold the push buttons on the back of the hearing aids to turn off the rechargeable versions of these devices. So the little green lights are flashing three times, that means they're off. I'm gonna press and hold them again until they flash again. There we go, so I just did a manual reboot of these hearing devices, and now I'm going to search again to see if that helps.
and it now it wants me to restart the hearing aids again. Now you can either put these inside the charger or just manually reboot them yourself, but I am going to put them in the charger because that is what they're showing me to do here. So there we go, we've put them in, we've taken them out. Now it's going to find them again. And it's loading all the data from the hearing aids into the phone. We are now connected and we hit continue. There we go. Now we are connected with the app with these hearing devices. And thanks to the Asha Bluetooth protocol, we are now capable of streaming audio from this Android device into these Resound hearing aids. All right, guys, I hope this video has helped you successfully pair your hearing aids to your smart device. Now, if you still have questions on this process, I highly recommend that you contact your hearing care provider for some more help. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. And if you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my website, drcliffaud.com.